Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video I, I kind of like that vlog thing that I did with the daily video thing. So this is another video. This is going to be about what my idol life would be like. Now, right now, you know, I'm trying to make money and I kind of, you know, I like to have goals in mind. Goals of like, okay, I've made it. Now I can work on other stuff, right? So an idol life for me, you know, obviously bills paid every month without even thinking about it, right? That That's an obvious thing. I think everyone wants that. But beyond that, there's a couple things that I would really like. And the first one is to basically buy whatever video game that I want. It would be awesome if I could just, oh, this game came out. I'm going to give it a shot. Bam, done. You know, Game Pass was really good. It's really nice for me because a bunch of the games that I want are on it, and it's only $10 a month. So, you know, it's an awesome kind of thing, kind of to deal with that but I mean like like if a game like uh, let me think about it. like Kingdom Come Deliverance comes out that's not on Game Pass but I, you know I still wanted it so I bought it you know so if something like that comes out really be able to buy that kind of stuff if I could do that just BAM make enough money to do that it's awesome and the next thing is actually buying whatever kind of computer parts I would want you know this computer I always thought it had a GTX 975 in it, and then I was wondering why it wasn't working very well with some games. And that's because it has a graphics card that's much lower than that. But I can't buy a new graphics card for it because I'm spending all my money on Amazon stuff. And I also bought a new laptop a while ago with the money that I would have used to buy a new graphics card to play awesome games. But the laptop was so much more worth it. It makes my life so much easier with workflow. So, you know, if I wanted like a 144 gigahertz monitor, that's $500, bam, done. You know, I wanted more RAM, bam, done. New computer, boom, you know. If I could do that along with video games, that would be just absolutely amazing. If uh, the last thing that I think about, and this is something that I don't think a lot of people would think about, but if I could buy whatever food I wanted, Right now, let me explain this. I'm not talking about going high end, you know, high end stuff, or, you know, I want to take a one day trip to Japan to go to this Michelin star chef. No, 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 no. I'm talking instead of buying cheap, unhealthy food, the expensive, healthy food type thing, like avocados, bananas, high quality eggs, you know, being able to eat eggs, protein shakes fruit juices, you know, buy a blender, be able to afford another blender if my blender breaks, you know, things like that. Lean beef, good chicken, you know, stuff like that. If I could buy that for myself, you know, afford it and not have to worry about budgeting in a food to, to my income. You know, of course, budgeting is important, but if I never had to budget in a food type thing to my if I never had to budget a food bill into my basically spending habits, that would be dope. I would love that so much because I eat a lot of food and I would like to eat a lot of expensive food. Not expensive food. I mean as in high quality food. And occasionally go to the expensive restaurant. I mean that'd be just nice, but I don't I don't really care too much for restaurants. I mean the food tastes good, but I'm not I'm not much into the restaurant experience type thing. But yeah, so I mean like buying new computer parts of course, it's a lot of money now, especially with cryptocurrency. You know, you know, cryptocurrency prices go down. That means graphics card prices go down, which is, I don't know, good or bad. It would also be nice, you know, to have enough money to where I could research an Amazon product and just instantly launch it with enough stock. You know, this first one, I don't have all the money in the world, right? So it costs all of the money I had saved up at the time I bought the first purchase to only buy a hundred units. So normally on Amazon, you know, you buy your stock and when your stock gets low, you rebuy, then your rank keeps going up on Amazon search, you rebuy, rebuy. With the money I have right now, I would have to basically buy out of stock. Now buy again, out of stock. You know, so I'd have to pay a little bit more on advertising, make a little bit less profit until I have enough money to just constantly keep myself in stock. So it would be nice, you know, if I needed to pay $7,000 to get a thousand units of this product to just bam, thousand units done. It's it's there, it's, you know, 
selling, all that stuff. So, you know, that, that would be a really nice thing to have. Um, cars and houses, I'm not too big on living fancy, you know. I Most of the stuff in this room, it's very tiny, by the way, the actual living space I have. Most of my stuff that I want can fit in this room. I have the chair I'm sitting in. I have another chair in case someone wants to play video games with me. I have all my computer stuff. I have space on my desk if I wanted a third monitor. I got my bed, you know, my blankets and my clothes. Like, physical items like decorations, like, I might need a Wi-Fi router if, I'm, if I were to ever move out. I would need to buy my own Wi-Fi. Kitchen, a dining room set, a couch in case I have more people come over, or I just want to chill. I mean, like... I don't really need anything in terms of house stuff and cars you know here, here's my thing I've had this car it's a Dodge Neon and the engine has been telling me that it has been having issues for I think three months now right three months on this engine right and it runs for what I use it for just fine right I don't really need to drive anywhere i mean one time i i don't drive a lot by the way i filled up my car with gas and it took two weeks you know how the pointer on the fuel gauge goes slightly above the line that says f it took it two weeks to go down to f so much i drive my car so honestly i would just need maybe a bicycle a car for the winter you know but maybe a bicycle i don't just like, I don't want a fancy car either. Because here's my thing. If you buy a fancy piece of something, fancy car, you know, I have my fancy uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset. But the thing is, is with my fancy Windows Mixed Reality headset, I use it. I spent money on it, not because it looks good, but because it has good, like the specs on it were good, right? So if I buy a fancy car, what? $50,000 because the engine can go fast and I barely drive at all. Like the most I ever hit is 30 miles an hour, literally on almost all the routes I take. So I don't need a fancy car because then it's just a used fancy car, right? A car like, no, it, it just does it, it, it to me. It doesn't seem worth it. So yeah, that was this video. I just, I've been thinking for some reason about this video for a couple days and I just wanted to make it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. What's something that you would like in your ideal life? Go ahead and share that in the comments below. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.